And new tonight, we have learned the name of the woman shot and killed in the parking lot of a Turlock store this week. She is 22 year old Zobeda Ikeda. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Thomas and I'm Madison Wade. Zobeda's family says that she was shot by a former coworker who had been stalking her for months. ABC 10's Luke Clary has the very latest on this developing story. It happened around nine o'clock last night. Gunshots ringing out through this O'Reilly's parking lot. A passing Turlock police officer actually heard the gunshots. The suspect leading police on a chase through town. In the murder of 22 year old Zoe Escara, the suspect leading police on a two mile chase through Turlock. He hit this rock. It came to an end with a crash. He jumped here, missed the corner of my garage. In Bob Crawford's front yard. Went through here, missed that tree. A neighborhood on lockdown as the suspect jumped backyard fences. When I opened the door, there's cops everywhere. And they basically said, get inside, lock your doors and you stay locked down until you hear from us. The search came to an end when a neighbor saw him hiding in the bushes and dialed 911. And they took a dangerous person off the street. Lieutenant Neil Cervenka says the suspect, Juan Francisco Ibarra Tapia, is being held without bail on the charges of first degree murder. Ascara died of her wounds at a local hospital. These are the cases we wish we could have done something to prevent. And all we can do now is our absolute best to make sure that family sees justice. Hascara's family say that she worked with the suspect at an O'Reilly's in Livingston, that he began stalking her last summer and was arrested on stalking charges in October. When the emergency protective order expired, they say he began stalking her again, giving Hascara panic attacks. My daughter's the same age as Zoe, so it sometimes it hits a little closer to home. Turlock police say they don't know the status of the stalking charges against Ibarra Tapia out of Merced County right now. He also faces two counts of attempted murder for shooting at employees inside the auto parts store. The good news is they're OK tonight. There is help out there. If you or someone you know needs it, the National Domestic Violence Hotline is taking calls. The number is on your screen 1-800-799-7233.